Amen. I want to thank God for if I can steal a line from the old people. I thank God for a reasonable portion of my health and my strength. I pray for uh, church members that are going through. I don't know if anybody in here have ever had to make a decision about taking someone you love off of life support. When it happens. It does happen. As we as we maneuver throughout this course called life, sometimes we shed tears. Sometimes we smile. And sometimes we have to see loved ones leave. Yes, Lord. But there is a place called better. Yes. And we thank God for allowing God to let us stay here for as long as he has allowed us to stay. With that being said, if you can, stand. Church last Sunday. Amen. 
except 12. I want to start reading uh, verse number 9. You have it, say amen. amen. Let me read it to you. Acts chapter 12, starting at verse 9. It says, And he went out and followed him, and wist not that it was true which was done by the angel, but thought he saw a vision. And when they were past the first and the second war, they came into the iron gate that leaded them to the city, which opened to them of its own accord. And they went out, passed on through one street, and forthwith the angel departed from him. Verse 11 says, And when Peter was come to himself, he said, Now I know of a surety that the Lord has sent his angel and has delivered me out of the hand of Herod and from all the expectation of the people of the Jews. Amen. Amen. So an angel has shown up and rescued Peter. He's incarcerated. Angel shows up, sets him free. I want to talk with this thought. It's complicated. Amen. It's it's complicated. Thank you, readers. Just so we'll understand what's going on, there's an angel involved. Amen. You got any idea why you didn't, you missed that wreck? Mm -hmm. Or that wreck missed you. Yes, Lord. Amen, Jesus. Or had you been 30 seconds earlier. Yes, Lord. It may have been you in the afternoon. That's right. But rest assured, an angel got involved. Oh, yes, yeah. Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And in Acts chapter 12, we learn about one angel. We've all got our own personal angel. We found out on last Sunday, we talked about the ministry of angels. Yes. In Acts chapter 12, this angel had one job. For you and me, when we find out what this angel had to do, to you and me, it might prove to be named after an old TV series that came on called Mission Impossible. Yes, yes, yes. yes. You ever had to do the impossible? Mm. Our parents, especially moms, they worked magic with some flour and some grease. Yes, yes, yes. 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 They worked magic. Well, he has one job. Anybody here ever had one job to do and you couldn't even get that right? That's yes, right. Amen. Or you told somebody what to do and you explained it to them? They still didn't get it right. And they still they didn't get it right. messed it up. Yes. 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 Well, listen to what the angel has to do. First of all, you gotta find this, find a way to get into the prison. <clears throat> now I understand the concept of breaking out of prison, but he gotta get in prison. Yes. Then he gotta pass two guards. We found out that there were two guards at the door, and he has to find some kind of way to get in this prison because he has one job. Not only does he have to get past two guards, but he has to free Peter, who's un unclothed,
and chained between two prison guards. We found out that one was on one side and one was on the other side. Two guards at the entrance. And he has to free Peter, who's unclothed, chained between two guards, and he has to get him out of that situation. And guess what? He does it and he leaves on the soldiers. Do not disturb him. To you and I, it's a dangerous assignment. If we were given the assignment that we had to emancipate a shop of Peter, then us being human beings, finite creatures, creatures of habit, I think I would have to do some thinking if I was up to the challenge. I would have to consider the danger that's involved with the mission. Before the tape was self-destruct in Mission Impossible, hmm. Mr. Phelps back then was given the opportunity after hearing the mission. He had an opportunity after he'd been told that this tape will self-destruct in five seconds. He had the opportunity to accept the mission or decline. And then he was told something like this. If you or any of your force should be caught or killed, the secretary will disavow any knowledge of your son. My God. Uh, I, if, if I have to go and rescue Peter, there are some things that I need to take into consideration. That's right. Number one, what if them guards see me? Because mm. some of y'all don't know how to creep and tiptoe. <laughs> <laughs> what if the guards should see me? I got to get to I got to get through two of them initially that's going in the door. How do I go about getting the keys to the door? Mm -hmm. Do y'all know that there are some people around that make a living off of pickpocket folk? Mm -hmm. yeah, right. And they're so smooth. And, and then you go pat it. <laughs> And they, they two block down the street. <laughs> How do I get the keys? How do I get past these guards? And not only that, if, if I'm just fortunate enough, I'm lucky if the stars align and I'm able to get through the first two guards, Peter is still chained between two more. Yes. How do I go about getting the keys? You did know that. God has the power to open up some doors when you don't have a key. Right, that's right. I'm not sure, this is just me, if I'm going to accept the assignment. I'm not sure if I want to see Peter had me. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I really want to see that. I know he's chained between two guards. But you must understand the assignment. It's not going to be an easy one. This man is sleeping half naked between the enemy. I asked the question on last Sunday, those of you who were here, have you ever had to find yourself sleeping with the enemy? Mm -hmm. What if I'm caught? What if one of them should happen to hear me and open their eyes and see me? What if I should stumble and fall and just so have them fall on one of them to wake them up? Well, you know what's going to happen? It's not going to end up easy. It's not going to end up good for me. Verse 10 informs me that once I make it past the two sets of guns, then I got another obstacle. There's an iron gate that's enclosed into the city. Back in the day, 
cities were encircled with walls and gates. The gates would shut down at dark, which was provided a security measure to the inhabitants of said city and would keep the enemy from coming in. Those of you that probably, you're not gonna believe this, but it's true. Back in the early 70s, late 60s, on the campus of Prairie View a and University, at a certain time, the campus would be locked down. If you wasn't on campus, by the time of closing, by the time they locked down, you wouldn't get back on that campus. You have to sneak in. That's how it was back in the day. How do I get past these guards? How do I get past the gates? What if I stumble and fall? I, if I'm going to accept this assignment to rescue Peter, I got questions that need answering. You ever took a job and you didn't know the job, but you needed a job? Yes. yes. And some of us have had to learn a job through what the people used to call trial and error. That's right. right. Let's be clear. The job that you are good at today, you weren't good at when you started 15 years ago. Yeah. But you learned through trial and error. When I first started, I wanted my first job washing dishes. And I had to make a $2 an hour. <laughs> I washing dishes. But let's be clear, when I first started washing dishes, I left some egg on the dishes. Yeah. I left some gravy on the dishes. And you know what, Mary Rose, I thought I was doing a good job. Until the manager had to show me. And instead of me getting mad about it, I told him I'd do better. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes all people need to hear is you say, I'm sorry, I'm going to do better. That's right. That's why. Right. Yeah. That's why. Right. Yeah. Don't be wrong and be arrogant. About That's it. Right. 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 Oh, gosh. Huh. I don't have a key to the gate, Helen. Yeah. How do I get out? And not only that, I've got a man that's probably too weak to walk. I got to put on my back. Don't look at me like that. Somebody will put you on their back. Yes. All right, go ahead. Yes. Yes. You're where you want to be. You just be clear about it. Somebody carried you. You didn't get here on your own. That's right.
can't pack this man over my back trying to go over the gate. I don't know about you, but I have concerns about this mission. Hey, brother, you ever, you ever had needed to do something and you had concerns? Right. You ain't gonna say man. But somebody in here standing at the altar with a person that they want to be with the rest of their life and they had concerns. Amen. Amen. Lord, am I making the right decision? Yes. What if this don't work out? Yeah. person. I got to explain to people. And you know what people will do? You know what, you know what people will throw up in your face? I told you something. Listen. Right. <laughs> Listen. But where is it written that you could not make a mistake if it was a mistake? Yeah, yeah. I don't think right. God makes mistakes. We just mess it up. That's right. I thought this thing through. Because I'm looking at the situation. I'm looking at the circumstances. And I'm looking at what's going to possibly happen to me if I should get caught. You didn't go in the bank. You just drove a getaway car. Guess what? Boo, you just as guilty. Yeah. Yeah. Did you all know you hanging around somebody yes, and they got dope? Yeah. That's your dope too? Yes, right. Yes. Did you think this thing through? Well, when I'm looking at the situation, I don't see how I'm going to succeed with what I'm assigned to do. I don't mean no harm, but every now and then, somebody who smiles in your face will set you up to fail. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's right. I don't see how this is going to end up successful. I don't see how this is going to end up in my favor. At this point, at this point, I, and I, 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 I got to pack this man? I got to carry this man? Well, you know what? At this point, my body is telling me yes, but my mind says hell no. Uh -huh. <laughs> you ever, before you even started to do a thing, you already said, I can't do it. Right. How do you know if you don't try? That's right. That's right. Yeah. You ever had to rethink something? Yes. You ever had to rethink it? But then you gave it some serious thought? You ever had to rethink a thing? Yes. Your mind was telling you to do something? Or your body was telling you to do something? And your mind was saying, uh-huh? Mm -hmm. I dropped something? <laughs> My body is telling me? My mind is telling me well to pick it up. Yeah. My body is saying, not now. <laughs> <laughs> Your mind is telling you to get out of bed and walk. Yes. But your knee is saying, wait. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anybody up in now? Yeah. Yes. Amen. <laughs> you ever had to do this here? You ever had to look at a situation and shut down and reboot? Now I'm thinking, if I get caught, if I get caught, I might lose my head, literally. Yes. Go ahead. Well, anybody in here, you don't have to deal with a situation, think this thing through, shut down and reboot and ask yourself, is it worth dying for? Yes. Lord help. I don't know who that person is, but everybody in here ought to have one somebody in their life that they would be willing to lay their life down for. Yes. yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Y'all right there? I want to think twice about it. Yes. Right here? One thing twice about it. My son, one thing twice. Because even if you do have to lay down your life at the age you are now, go to glory saying, I had a good life. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lord's been good to me. Yes. If you don't see another day, thank God for the days that were behind. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My God. Amen. Not only are they going to kill me, but they're going to kill 
Peter. My mission will be unsuccessful. Yes, Lord. Then watch this. What if I get caught? Yes, Lord. What's going to happen to my family? Yes, Lord. Well, every now and then, it might do you well to think about the decision you make today that you might have to apologize for tomorrow. That's right. Have mercy, Lord. If I do this, and I get caught, what's going to happen mm -hmm. to the family? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You ain't going to know this one, but I'm going to tell you anyway. There are instances that pop up that when our decision making affects more than just you. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. I feel to say that Sometimes you have to think things out before you make a decision to do a thing because that thing may affect more than just you. Yes, sir. Uh, you mad at your mama because she won't keep your baby. Yes, yeah. 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 right. Talk, sir. Yeah. 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 I'm thinking the same through. And I'm closing. But if it's me and I've been given the assignment, I don't know about y'all. But I have questions. Yes, it's okay. It's okay when you don't understand something to ask questions. Yes. Right? Yes. I got some questions I gotta ask. First thing I'm gonna say is, can I think about it? Yeah. Your life weighs in the balance. And the best thing somebody can say is, can I think about it? Right, yeah. right. Well, I'm real glad, and you ought to be glad too, that your freedom and your livelihood is not based on somebody else's thought process. Amen. Right. Amen. Aren't you glad that man didn't create you? Yeah. Because one day you may piss him off and he's going to show you what life will be. But I'm glad that God created me. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Uh, I don't know about you, but again, I'm real glad that my life does not let lie in the balance based on what side of bed you woke up on. That's it. It may not be me. It may be a, a issue you have with one of my parents. Right. I'm glad that my freedom is not based on whether or not you pick up the phone or not. Yeah. In my closing, new brother, if Peter is going to be delivered, just from reading these verses, if he's going to be delivered, then that's something he must do. He's got to be obedient to what he thinks is a dream at the moment. Yes. He's got to be obedient to what he thinks is a dream. How many of you dream? How many of you dream? Well, let me just say this. At some point, everybody dreams. Yes, right. You have no control over your dreams right. when you doze off and go to bed. That's right. And depending on how good or bad your dream is, it might cause you to jump in the night. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I know I'm going to say when that happens? You gotta stop doing what you're doing. <laughs> Peter is gonna be delivered, but in order for him to be saved, set free, it's something he's gotta do first. Yes. You, you, you 
know why? I, I've said this before, and I told somebody this other day. They were talking about what they were going through, the, the, the finances. I said, you know why you're still going through that? Because you haven't developed the spirit of hate yet. Yes. <laughs> I said, what you talking about? I said, you ain't developed the spirit of hate. He said, I don't hate nobody. I said, I ain't got nothing to do with it. I say, when you're going through something, when you start to hate a thing, you'll change that thing. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. You change what you hate or you adapt to dealing with it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Situation you don't like, yes. why do you keep dealing with it? That's right. That's right. Somebody ought to get this and I'm done. If Peter would not have been obedient, he would still be in change. Yes, yes sir. If we had not learned the blessing of being obedient sometime, yeah. then we would miss out on what God has for us. Yes, Lord. Somebody in here ought to say amen to this. Because you've been set free from something that had you bound. Yes, yes, Lord. Lord. But if we were to put Peter on the witness stand, yeah. anybody here been on the witness stand? Yes. You know you got to put your left hand on the Bible <laughs> and raise your right hand and you are asked the question, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Well, People do perjure themselves, in other words, they put their hand on the Bible, and mean nothing, they end up lying anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and you know you lie. How many of y'all know a Negro that lie with a straight face? <laughs> that, that's your worst time to lie. <laughs> and then they get up there and say, ooh, swag, God, oh, everything I know. <laughs> Yeah. 
Give it that now. For the Lord who was on my side. And this is what I like. When he gets outside the prison, somehow, I don't know how, somehow the gate opens. Yeah. Somehow, I don't know how, I don't have, I can't tell you, somehow the chains fell off. Yeah. I don't have it because I don't know how. They got through two guards and two more at the door. Don't ask me, I don't know. Yeah. But all I know is yeah. that when I was chained up, yeah. I'm free now. Yeah. 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 Stand to your feet. Yeah. I am free. No! 
it's complicated. I can't explain to you. It's just complicated. Just know it was God who did it. Amen. Thank y'all so much for being here today.